Oh, wow. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review. And this time it is for the latest live action Disney film, Mulan. I'm not gonna really give you guys a synopsis for Mulan. I feel like majority of you guys, my viewers, have seen the animated version or at least know the story about a young girl who takes her father's place in the war and, you know, she's not supposed to be really there. Shenanigans ensue. It's really hard for me to put into words <laughs> what I felt about this movie, but I'm gonna try. So before I get into any specifics, I just wanna let you guys know I'm a big fan of the animated version of Mulan. I really, really like that film. I grew up on a film, so you know, I get a little bit of nostalgia, but I rewatched it recently. You can go check out that review somewhere. It'll be down below or probably in the eye up here. Check that out, see my thoughts about it, but I'll just give you a short synopsis. I really enjoyed it. And I was hoping, <laughs> praying that the live action version would come just maybe even a little bit close to the animated one. It doesn't do that. And it's really, really sad too because this movie has potential. You think of live action Mulan and you think of the set pieces that they can have and recreate from the animated version and make them even better and bigger. I get excited. And when I saw the trailers, I was excited because the trailers look good. But then I saw more trailers and more trailers. And then I started getting concerned because I was like, Ugh, this is not, it's not looking good, but it's not all bad. There is some good stuff in this film. I know it sounds weird because every other critic is destroying it, but I did find some bright spots in this film. The costumes and the costume design and the set designs in this movie, I think are really, really well done. They look bright and colorful, just like what you would think of a Mulan live action movie. They did a good job with the set pieces. You can really tell, I don't know if this is a pro or anything, but you could tell that this movie was meant to be on the big screen just the way that it's filmed and like i said the bright colors and the set designs and the grandiose sets and all that stuff i think they did a really good job with the casting of mulan i think her name is yefu lu sorry if i butchered that but she's she's excellent she's great as mulan anytime her and her father are on screen or just have any interactions i think it's probably one of the best parts of the film i just like their dynamic and their story just back and forth now the part that you all have been waiting for. What is so terribly wrong with this film? There's a lot, there's a lot, okay? But the biggest one I'll start off with is just the way Mulan is. <laughs> I know I said she was really cool and she is, she's great. The actress that plays her is, is awesome. But Mulan's character, they done fucked it up. They make her a savant in this movie she can do everything she's a master at everything at age seven beginning of the movie they show her as a young kid and she's flipping around jumping on rooftops and doing flips and backflips and that would have been fine if they showed her like her dad training her or something that's all you gotta do it's a little tiny montage of like her father's trained her at a young age and she's really good at this stuff but nope there's no explanation. Dad's like, nah, man, you know, she's supposed to be a, a woman. A woman don't do that kind of stuff. So he's even surprised that she's jumping off of roofs and doing flips and is really good at a sword when he never trained her at all. And their explanation for this in the movie why Mulan is so good at everything that she does is because she has strong chi. And when I heard that, I was like, I instantly thought of, so Mulan's a Super Saiyan. <laughs> She's basically a Super Saiyan. I don't really know why they tried to change it so much from the animated one. They could have just easily just done the same story. And I know that's one of the complaints that people have with these live action adaptations of, of animated Disney films is that they just copy and paste and do the same thing. But I think in this one, you, you needed to do that. You needed to take a lot of elements from the animated one that we know and love and just translate it into live action. That's, for me, that's personally just what I want to see. And you can totally change it up and add new things. Like there's stuff in here that they could have kept and just also kept some stuff from the animated one and it would have been fine. And let's talk about some of the stuff that they added in here that wasn't in the animated version. And that is this new character. It's a witch who can turn into a hawk 
You know in the animated one where the leader of the Huns had that little hawk and it was a little scary looking, right? And it was flying around attacking people. She's basically replacing that, but she's a witch that can turn into that and she has powers. She just came, comes out of nowhere. And her character is in here to be kind of like a sympathizer with Mulan, somebody that Mulan can sympathize with. It's really weird. It doesn't work for me at all. I think she was a waste of character. She didn't need to be in. And you're telling me, we had this witch lady who could do magical powers, transform into animals, and we don't have Mushu? We can't put Mushu in here, but you have this lady? What the heck? Also, I just noticed this. I don't know if you guys noticed this as well. There, some people sounded like they were dubbed in this movie. It, it was like really bad. Like their voices did not match what they look like. I, I don't know, maybe that's what they really sound like. But to me, it just, I had a feeling some people were dubbed. But the worst thing that this movie does, I touched on it before, is they take out beloved scenes from the animated version and they, just like they never happened. They're just erased. And it makes me so frustrated because I had so much hopes and dreams for this movie. And I was like, oh man, you know that scene in the animated version where Wulan's fighting the Huns and they're in the snow and they're on the mountains and she shoots a rocket and it causes an avalanche? That would be really cool in live action. Is it in here? No. You know that really funny scene where Mulan's taking a bath and then her friends surprise her and jump into the bath with her? That was hilarious, right? That would be really funny in the live action one. Yeah, that, that's not gonna happen either. It's not gonna be in here. It's just, I, I don't know why they took out the stuff that we liked in this movie and they didn't replace it with anything good, nothing that adds to the story. It's really frustrating. So overall guys, I don't, think this movie is good at all i'm really sad that i have to say this but this movie's not worth 30 dollars. i would say wait to december to watch it if you really want to watch it i guess do it but even then i would say no don't don't waste 30 dollars on this but hey that's just my opinion let me know what you think in the comments below about mulan did you like the live action adaptation? Did you hate it? Do you like the animated version more? Do you want to see a sequel? Do we all want to see live action Mulan 2, right? <laughs> Let's see what they do with that one. But guys, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can see some more reviews later on. Also, you should check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And remember guys, keep watching movies.